cannabis? Or your views on cannabis? Yeah. I just feel strongly people should not be going to jail for smoking weed. Wait, so you... What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Mika, and you're watching The Red Cup Podcast, where truth, pop culture, and politics meet. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Mika, and we're back for another Red Cup Talks because, you know, when we got the Red Cup, we're about to spill some truth. And today we're going to talk about... Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris decides to go on the All Smoke podcast where it was all cringe. And I do mean all cringe. It was nothing on that podcast that we needed to know. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you wanted to know if she liked Doritos, this might tickle your fancy, but it was nothing on that podcast that you needed to know. She is literally turning into the candidate about nothing. Seinfeld. So, Anywho, we're going to go and watch some of this uh, podcast and you guys let me know what you think. Of course, we're going to start with the economy. Let's go. Economy, small business, black business. We actually just started our business in January. So we're, you know, we've grown from a show to a whole entire company. What is your kind of your economic plan moving forward for people who are living paycheck to paycheck and, yeah. and struggling for groceries and, and, and rent and, and homeowners. So look, I grew up. So my, <laughs> my sister. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I grew up. If I had a dollar for every time Kamala says I grew up, I'm telling you, I would be rich. I grew up. I grew up. I grew up. I grew up my lawn, my lawn, my lawn, my man, my man, my man. And I were raised by our mother. We lived for a long time on in an apartment on top of a, a child care center. That child care center was actually owned by a woman who lived two doors down from us, Mrs. Shelton, who was, by all of our accounts and feelings, our second mother. She helped raise us. And so she was a small business owner. So I'll start with the small business and congratulations. I, I just want y'all to... See that necklace she keeps touching? That necklace is like <laughs> almost a hundred K sitting on her neck. Uh, okay. Congratulations. I want you guys to I from a child knew who our small business owners are, right? I mean, you're you're business leaders, but you're also civic leaders. You take seriously your voice and how you can mentor, how you can grow, right? Communities and the sense of communities. I love our small businesses. And so a lot of my work in terms of building and growing the economy has focused on small businesses. Every time she talks about a group, whether it's black people, Latinos, uh, uh, LGBT, uh, now she's talking about small business. Every time she talks about a certain demographic, I spent my entire life. I spent my entire life. You know, I, you, you know my whole life's work, ma'am. Let's go on to the next one. First thing to come to mind, let us know. Cannabis. Oh, cannabis? Your views on cannabis? Yeah. I just feel strongly people should not be going to jail for smoking weed. And we know historically what that has meant and who has gone to jail. Mm -hmm. Second, I just think we have come to a point where we have to understand that we need to legalize it and, and, and stop criminalizing this behavior. And so... And I've actually, this is not a new position for me. I, I have felt for a long time we need to legalize it. So that's where I'm. So she has thought for a long time she needs to legalize it. And that long time would be mm, 2018, 2019. Roll footage. Harris oversaw roughly 1,900 marijuana convictions in San Francisco during her time as the city's district attorney. 6% more than her predecessor. Favorite holiday to cook and what's your signature dish? Well, Sundays are my oh, favorite oh, days Sunday to dinner. cook. Sunday family dinner. Okay. I mean, these days it's, it's more difficult for me than, than ever, but Sunday family dinner. So let me guess, your Indian mother did Sunday dinners where you learn to cook the greens in the bathtub and she taught you how to be, you and your sister, a strong black woman, 
with those Sunday dinners and more than likely invited your second mother who lived two doors down that was a small business owner um, to the daycare in which you lived over. Did I get that right? Okay. Yeah, get everybody. My together. happy place, and whoever is around, bring your friends. Oh, party! Um, I'm leaving yeah. my number. I want to get invited to one of these Sunday okay. dinners. I'll okay. be back. Okay, okay, you guys are welcome. <laughs> yes, best uh, musical artist in Bay Area history. Ooh, put her on the spot. <laughs> oh, ever? No, my you're mind okay. is going through lots okay. of. I mean, I'll just I could go with Too Short, but I you can't mean, can't go wrong with Too Short. Yeah, Raphael Sadiq. Tell me, Raphael tell me, tell me. is. Y'all helping her out. Y'all helping her out. Last time, at least allowed Angela Rye, allow her to answer the question. She couldn't answer the question, so you know what happened? She said, move on, move on, move on. Y'all are helping her out. She don't know nothing about none of that. Because last time, Tupac was who she was listening to in the dorms, and um, it was the 80s, and Tupac would have been mm, a kid. Okay. At Dre. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, Tupac had his. Yeah, his run. His, he claims that. Yeah. yeah, he claims that 40. Yeah. Five dinner guests that are alive. I'm going to get emotional when I say this. My mother and my husband never met. Oh, okay. My mother passed away before we got married. So if I could put him at the table yes. with my mother, okay. Shirley Chisholm. First big. black woman to That's run for big. president. That's big. Oh, Our and I would so love to sit is. with her. Pick her, pick her brain. I yeah. would so love to sit mm -hmm. with her. I mean, I feel that I know her because I have studied her life. You're walking in her footsteps. I you sure enough studied her life because you're literally passing yourself off as everything that she built. And um, hey, gotta give it to her. She's doing a good job at fooling a lot of people. Hmm. So look, guys, I sat through a lot of that interview and I can tell you right now, it did not give any value. It didn't give me anything that I didn't already know. It just didn't give. It wasn't given nothing. It was an interview about nothing. Very um, hmm, Seinfeld ish. I <laughs> I just really feel that Kamala Harris is just not a good candidate and for the life of me i don't understand why people want to vote for her i don't understand what people get out of her honestly you know what i do understand they just don't like trump so they vote for kamala and hey if that's what you want to do that's your prerogative but i would say as a candidate i would feel some way that people aren't voting for me they're voting against trump like comment and subscribe let me know what you thought about that interview for the all cringe, all smoke podcast, <sighs> Matt Barnes. I feel for you. I know they asked you. It happens. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think. And um, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.